Hey everyone, it's Kayla from The Casual Crafter and today we're going to be doing some Valentine's Day DIY decor. This is part of a Valentine's Day challenge hosted by Heidi Sambel over on her channel. I'll have that link down below, so a big shout out to her. And also down below I'll have the playlist linked of all the different YouTubers and all their videos that you can go through and watch as well and get some inspiration for Valentine's Day decorating. So let's go ahead and get right into the video. So here I'm just taking some of those tumbling tower blocks you can get at Dollar Tree and I'm going to align them to try and make a heart shape. And now I'm just gluing those together once I have them lined up with some hot glue. I know the hot glue doesn't give the blocks a very flush line, but you can always use wood glue or something else. But it wasn't a big deal to me, so I just used the hot glue. So I just go through and I glue the two halves that I have here together. Then I'm going to sand it just using the sanding sponge I got at Dollar Tree. Just trying to get some of that glue bits off and smooth it out a little bit before I go in and paint. I'm using this little vacuum tool I got. It's so great for cleaning up just little messes on my desk. I'll link it down below. Now I'm just taking some of the Waverly chalk paint in, I think it's ballet slipper. It's a light pink color and I'm just going to be covering the whole thing with that. You could always let some of the brown show through if you want, if you like that look. And here it looks styled on a shelf with other decor. I think it turned out really cute. Here I'm just taking these four mirrors that I got at Dollar Tree. I was lucky enough to find four of the same style. I'm going to take the plastic off of them and I'm just going to be gluing these together to try and create a, like a backdrop kind of for all my different decor that I might have. This isn't specifically Valentine's Day, but it can go with it. I thought the look on the mirrors looked kind of romantic, so I thought it went with it well. Once I get those all lined up, I'm going to be taking these jumbo popsicle sticks and some E6000. I'm going to be doing E6000 in combination with hot glue so I get a short term and a long term hold with these. I'm just going to glue along the edge and then glue that to the other mirror. Once those are glued I'm going to be attaching these jumbo popsicle sticks like I said to the back to just kind of give it some extra support on the back and then I'll trim the ends at the end. And then I actually glued up the front because it wasn't sticking super well. And then I have these little clamps that I put on to try and hold it for a bit. So I'm just repeating that process on this other set. So once I have those done, I'm going to end up adding more popsicle sticks to attach the two sections together, again just for more support. Again I'm going to be attaching them with E6000 and hot glue. So again, I'm just going to glue up the middle of those and then apply some clamps and let that sit for a good day.
and here it is on my shelf with all my other decor. I think it looks really nice and romantic as a backdrop for my other decorations that I have. So moving on, I was trying to make an interchangeable sign here. I just got some cheap fern strips from my local hardware store, and I'm going to trim those down. I wanted to make a tall, skinny sign as opposed to a wider sign. So I initially trimmed these down at, I don't know, around two feet, and then I had to shorten them because I realized they were hitting my ceiling because my shelf is kind of high up. Make sure you measure before you make a sign like this. I'm just using my miter box to cut those down. You could use a jigsaw or something as well. Again, I'm just using this little vacuum thing. It really comes in handy, it's crazy. Did you see all that sawdust it just picked up? Again, I'll link it down below. So now I'm gonna draw a line roughly in the center of each board, and I'm gonna be using these wood carving tools that I actually picked up at Dollar Tree. They came in a set of four, and I'm gonna be trying to chisel out at least a rough line on each of the pieces of wood I have so I can slide a foam piece of board in between. So thick enough for that. I don't know, not, not too wide. This definitely took some time, I'll say that, and I definitely recommend wearing gloves. I'm just staining it, I used the Verithane wood stain in Dark Walnut. And then I'm going to be tracing out the size of the sign that I need so it'll actually slide in there. I wanted to make this frame so I could interchange out the sign in the middle for different seasons. I try to do that with a lot of my decor because I don't have a lot of room to store a lot of my decoration. So if I just switch out one piece of it, it's not as bad. So here I'm just going to be using these stencils I got at Walmart. They're pretty large and I'm going to be sponging out XOXO just with some black acrylic paint. When I stencil, I like to use the makeup sponges, just cheap ones you can get at Dollar Tree. I think they work really well. And I really love how this turned out with the black and white and the wood. I think it turned out really well. And then I just go through and erase that pencil line that I drew up the center just to know where to center everything at. I like the height it adds to my shelf. I think it looks really nice. Here I'm just taking some canvases I got at Dollar Tree. I'm sure you've seen it before. You take the canvas off and then use the wood frame. And I just printed out this design. I'm sure you can find something similar online. So I'm going to be tracing this onto the canvas. So I shaded the back and then once that's shaded, I'm going to outline each of the hearts and that'll leave a pencil mark on the canvas itself so then I can go back over it with a marker. If you don't have a Cricut or Silhouette, this works really well for tracing different words and letters. And then I'm going to go through and trace those. I was going to fill them all in with just Sharpie. It was drying out my Sharpie really quickly, so I just decided to go in with some black acrylic paint and a small brush and just go in and fill in all those hearts. And then I'm going to be painting the last heart with this ballet slipper color and Waverly chalk paint. It's just a light pink color, any light pink color would work. And 
And then I'm going to re-add my frame using the Varathane wood stain and dark walnut and just hot glue that to the canvas and go around each side and make sure it's all glued down and aligned well and pulled tight across the back. Obviously, if you care to have a longer hold or a more secure attachment, you can use a different type of glue other than hot glue. And then I'm just going to trim off the excess using my box cover and there I did actually cut a little bit of the frame so I just used a little rag and touched that up with some stain. I'm going to be doing a similar thing with this love word only in using a smaller canvas. I believe it's like a 4x6 size or so. The other one was an 8x10. Again, I'm using the same technique as last time, just going to trace out that word, making sure it's as centered as I can get it before I start to trace it. And this doesn't have to be perfect, you can touch it up when you retrace over it again. So. I tried to show you there, it's kind of hard to see. And then I'm going to start by tracing it out again with Sharpie. I'm going to fill in the major parts with just some black acrylic paint again. And then I'm just going to hot glue down the wood frame again. And cut off the excess. Then I have these two neutral signs that I think go really well with my neutral Valentine's decor. I just like the pops of the light pink. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure and like and comment down below what your favorite thing I made today was or what you want to try out making yourself. A big shout out to Heidi Sambel for hosting this challenge. Be sure and check her out down below. Also down below, be sure and check out everyone in the playlist and maybe you'll find some new ideas you want to try for Valentine's Day. And stay tuned and shortly on my channel I'll have even more Valentine's Day content. So be sure and subscribe and thanks again. Bye!